Zero to Geek. Learning better is better. One of our students, Mike Taverin, in our course, um, blah, 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 let's see what course was it, Learning Outwards by Example, the Udemy case, which is on Udemy's website, where we um, teach you guys how to work with uh, AdWords for the first time. It doesn't really matter if um, you're going to be a teacher on Udemy or not, it really isn't relevant. Uh, we go through the steps that I think are the most critical to get a foundation working with AdWords. <clears throat> So let's see what, what our, our fellow student had a question. So Mike Teverine asked us, uh, well, asked in one of our videos, which was video eight, eight, we talked about website auditor and how it's really important to get a gra grip on how to basically manage your AdWords account. And if you're one of the students, you know what I'm talking about. So he asked, I bought a web, I, I bought website auditor professional and for hundred bucks. Congratulations, Mike. I'm sure you're going to get a lot out of that. I really mean it. Um, it's probably the most, the smartest buy you made if you're really getting into AdWords in general. Um, and under the web page report, I do not have an A to Z content optimization report, right? So, um, they don't come with it by default. You actually create your own custom reports. I'll show you how to create that report. Although it's a bit off topic off of our course, but if you asked it, you deserve an answer. So, oh, by the way, in, in our uh, in our uh, JavaScript training course that we've been doing our training on is already in position 18 on Google, literally from that small little change that we did in our course, Mike. So it's that powerful. Literally a couple of weeks after we created the course, we didn't do anything but change that small little thing that took us five minutes, and we're in position 18 on Google already, and you could see how very quickly we went from from not being at all to 32, and then to 29, and bam, March 6th, March 5th, when we're doing, I'm doing this video for you, we're already in position 18, and I do expect it to continue going up. All right, but into our tool website auditor, you'll see that in the web that I have the A to Z content optimization report and you might have different reports on your screen. Every version of website auditor and their software in general comes with a few different reports. Now, the way you add the reports is very, very simple. So one is I'm going to post a link to our blog where you can get the steps all in a linear way so you don't have to worry about memorizing this. Um, and once you get into our um, into the blog, I'll put the steps involved and you're gonna go into this link of templates, scroll a little bit down, you're gonna select a tool, which our tool that you're working on is Website Auditor. Once you select the Website Auditor, select the language English, click on search, it's gonna filter through the, the reports that are relevant to that application. And in that, in our case, we were looking at the A to Z content optimization report. Click on that download button. Once you download the file, you're going to need some sort of uh, text editor like Notepad. In my case, I'm using on a Mac here Sublime Text 2, which is free to download. Um, and you're going to see a lot of code in here. Just click on the command A, command C, just copy, just copy the files. Don't worry about what's inside of it. It really doesn't matter. Once you copied it, go back into the tool, into your website auditor, and then go up into your preferences and just search for, um, blah, 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 blah. let's see where it is, report templates. In the report template, select page content reports. Once you click on web content reports, you're going to click on the add blank. Once you add a blank template, you'll see that you got here a nice empty one. Just select it, click on edit, and then you're literally just going to grab everything that's inside there and just like delete it and paste inside whatever was inside of that file that you just downloaded. And there you go, you just created a report, you could give it a nice name, so we could call it the A to Z, A to Z report. We already have one A to Z, so I'm just gonna call it A to Z, and just click on OK. Once you do that, you're gonna have the A to Z report, click on OK, and just you will find in your options all the way in the bottom our A to Z option. Once I click on it, you'll see that we're going to get that A to Z report, which is the exact same report that we have right now. So that's the step you have to do. Don't worry, you don't have to pause and play the video a hundred times. Just go on the footer link, um, or on the, if you're already in the blog, then just go through the steps that are right underneath in the blog. Um, I wish you luck, and I really, really think you just got a really great purchase. Um, and I hope you make a lot of money working with AdWords. And do explore uh, Website Auditor. It's going to be giving you a lot of power to making sure that you're not spending money for no reason. And you're getting also organic results. As you saw, in literally a matter of a couple of weeks, we got up to the position 18 on Google without doing anything. 
which is absolutely awesome. All right, so I wish you luck. Hope you like it, and if you do, give that five-star review. Um, put a comment up, um, and good luck. Please subscribe to us. We love you so much. Please.